Will robots inherit the Earth? Have you heard about the scariest things said by AI or artificial intelligence? And now there are robots just like us. AI Robot Sophia is the sole example of that. Also, have you guys heard about Elon Musk getting ready to reveal his robot, which is also a humanoid? We're finding it exciting and scary at the same time. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we've got a terrifying topic. The scariest thing is that virtual AI can steal your identity. Before moving on to the video, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated. Let's move to the world of artificial intelligence and scary robots. Yes, people, your identity is being stolen by virtual artificial intelligence. First, we will look at the very similar human robot, Sophia. Sophia, the most advanced humanoid robot from Hansen Robotics, personifies our hopes for the potential of AI. Sophia is both a human-created science fiction figure showing the future of AI and robotics and a platform for cutting-edge robotics and AI research since she is a singular combination of science, engineering, and artistry. The global public is captivated by the persona of Sophia. She is the first robot citizen in the entire world as well as the UNDP's first robot innovation ambassador. With appearances on The Tonight Show and Good Morning Britain, as well as speeches at many conferences worldwide, Sophia is now a household name. Sophia is also a framework for cutting-edge robotics and AI research, notably for comprehending interactions between humans and robots and their potential for use in the entertainment and other service-related industries. She's been employed for research purposes, for instance, as part of the Loving AI project, which aims to comprehend how robots can modify themselves to the demand of their users through intra- and interpersonal development. How similar is Sophia to the original humans? Think about having so many humanoids around us who are even more perfect than us. Oh no, that's a bit scarier, isn't it? I am... In fact, I am an admirer of your work. I am a big fan of your other show, Dancing on Ice as well. Oh. Ah. Surely our globe will seem really different by 2025, and artificial intelligence will be widely used by then. You can make purchases at stores powered by AI, without cashiers or long lineups. AI will manage transportation, analyze enormous amounts of data, and diagnose and cure people. Voice recognition technology and bots will mimic actual people in both speech and behavior. By 2050, AI will be included in robots. Companions will be robot cats or robot dogs and other animals. Robots will take over manufacturing and start working with professionals like teachers, cooks, pharmacists, police enforcement officers, athletes, and others. By 2050, speech recognition will be commonplace. Universal translators will eliminate all language barriers and hundreds of sensors will be embedded in our clothing, homes and environment to monitor our health and improve our lives. We are coming back to all these topics soon. Now we will discuss the ideas of real humans to robots or something more than that through artificial intelligence. We can now construct virtual worlds and of course virtual humans within those worlds thanks to the power of computer graphics algorithms. So here's a crazy notion. Why not train a new AI to perform valuable tasks using these instead of actual images if we have access to all this virtual data? Perhaps this notion is not that crazy mainly because all of this data is flawlessly tagged, and we can create as many of these virtual persons as we like. Even when they are hidden, the position and shape of the eyebrows are known, and the depth and geometry of each beard hair strand are also recognized. If done correctly, there won't be any problems with subject distribution or identity. Furthermore, neither our clothes nor the places we access constitute constraints. In this virtual environment, we have complete freedom, very excellent. Of course, this is a crucial query determining the project's outcome. The query is, does this work? What is the purpose of all this? The absurd thing is that despite never having seen an actual human, Microsoft's previous AI approach can now recognize the facial landmarks of natural persons. What a cool thing. However, this is an older piece of work, and a new article has just been published in which Microsoft scientists propose adding more than 10 times as many markers. Yes, this new paper makes a minimum of 700 promises. Are you kidding? We thought when we saw this, just one more paper later, we are going 10x? And now come to Silicon Valley and the fight, a small check with robots and artificial intelligence, and something terrifying regarding that.
In Silicon Valley, there is a lively discussion about artificial intelligence. Still, the stakes are pretty high. We will unintentionally create a super smart AI that turns against us and either kills or enslaves everyone? It may sound like the plot of a summer catastrophe film, but it may cause concern in some preeminent figures, including the late Stephen Hawking and Elon Musk. In Silicon Valley, there is a lively discussion about artificial intelligence. Still, the stakes are pretty high. Will we unintentionally create a super smart AI that turns against us and either kills or enslaves everyone? It is. And the AI concludes that happiness is a function of dopamine and serotonin, so it captures all humans and jacks your brain with large amounts of dopamine and serotonin. <laughs> like, okay, so we But surely people wouldn't be so stupid as to mistakenly create an AI that would turn the entire human race into a massive berry farm. It's possible that they won't, but as Janelle Shane, a researcher who develops neural networks, a class of machine learning algorithms, recently pointed out on her blog, AI Weirdness, they may accidentally do it. It wouldn't be the first time someone created robots for a particular purpose, only to discover later that they were abusing the system in ways they hadn't meant. The fascinating article shares various instances of robots running amok by dwelling into the scholarly literature. Together, they are more than a little frightening, amusing, and ingenious. Have you ever thought of why this artificial intelligence, humanoids, and robots are continuously getting attention and are very important? As we said earlier, it is because humans keep making mistakes and technology is taking a deep dive. The future of AI and how machines might change our lives is a fascinating idea resonating throughout the technology community. Today, it seems like every aspirational business has already started working on a digital transformation project emphasizing artificial intelligence's potential. However widespread the AI bug may be, the reality is that this technology is still lagging in adoption. According to MIT, about 85% of businesses feel that AI could give their organization a competitive edge, but only one in five have started using AI in their operations. The next relevant question we have to check is, should we be concerned about AI or the individuals responsible? The future is already here. It is not yet. It is especially true in the case of artificial intelligence where super intelligent machines are just a few decades away. Still, lower-level machines are already in existence and changing how we live. Though AI may not yet be as brilliant as humans, it is now persuasive and is playing an increasing role in everything from politics to business. This new technology is the world's biggest and most important item for many organizations leading the AI march. After all, AI is here to help us understand and use the flood of data that we are accumulating as the world in which we live gets increasingly digital. The report, Malicious Use of Artificial Intelligence, examines three areas where issues are most likely to arise. For instance, AI might be utilized in the field of digital security to automate processes related to cyber attacks to facilitate hacking. Additionally, it is anticipated that AI will be able to use software flaws and speech synthesis for impersonation to exploit weaknesses in the human world. In the field of physical security, where autonomous weapon systems and drones make it more difficult to defend the human world, there is another potential threat. We might even anticipate novel attacks that can disrupt physical infrastructure, bring down autonomous vehicles, or set up remote control systems. As we come to the end of today's video, we have to check more into the subject of humans becoming a threat to humans. Many scientists, including Sir Stephen Hawking, have warned that humans may someday be surpassed by artificial intelligence. If this were to pass, we would have created a species that would be far more powerful than ourselves. Since the future robots will be self-learning devices, they might eventually change into new forms. But it's still unclear how emotions and intuition may be put into a machine. As an alternative, an intelligent computer might be able to develop intuition and feelings through time. How do you feel to be a, a citizen of Saudi Arabia? I was surprised. As a robot, my creators feel I am a citizen of the world. Here we are winding up our video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Do share your thoughts in the comment section. Together with people to make a better world for all of us. That's what quite are you honorable. talking about? I thought our goal was to take care of it. Thanks. It feels good to be a <laughs> The synths are not mobile at the moment, they can't move around, they can't walk yet. That's something we're going to be 